guys, it's Miss Fisher. So this week's lesson is about turning shapes into forms. Shapes are flat, forms are 3D. So I have some examples here of forms and how we can turn them into something. So on the lesson word document that's uploaded on Teams, there are step-by-step -step examples on how to turn different shapes into different forms. There are circles that become spheres or cylinders, triangles but can become cones or pyramids, and squares or rectangles can become cubes. So I'm going to show you how to do a couple different ones and then I'm going to show you the next step. So if I wanted to turn a square or a rectangle in this case into a cube, there's two ways. I can either start with one, draw one that's similar and overlapping and connect all of the corners. So like the top right to the top right over here, top left to the top left, bottom left to bottom left, bottom right to bottom right. And then that's almost like a see-through cube. If you don't want to look see-through, what you have to do is it's a little bit trickier. It just takes a little bit of practice, but you draw your square or rectangle and then you want to draw diagonal lines coming from the two top corners and the one bottom corner. You draw them out and then you see like that's a little, it made that line a little too long, but that's okay. And then you just connect them. And then you had a square that turned into a cube. Now, that's how you do that. If you wanted to turn um, a oval into a cylinder, this one's pretty easy. You start with an oval. You draw two vertical lines down and another oval on the bottom. Now it looks like a cylinder. The last I'm going to show you is a pyramid. Pyramids are pretty easy. You draw a triangle and you basically want to make like another triangle on its side, a little bit of a slimmer one, a thinner one, and then you got a pyramid. Now, if you want to turn it, so this is step one of the lesson. You kind of do some practice ones on your own. You don't have to turn this part into me. What you do have to turn into me is you have to take one of these and turn it into something. So let's say, um, so in my examples, I have a square that I turned into a cube, an oval that I turned into a cylinder, and that became a barn and a silo. Over here, I have a triangle that I turned to a pyramid and I made it look like an Egyptian pyramid um, landscape at night. So let's say, I want to turn, try to think of something a little bit different. Well, let's say instead of making it a house, I'm just gonna make it a square. Turn, take a square, I'm gonna make it into a rec, uh, cube, excuse me. And now I wanna turn that cube into a jack-in-the-box. I would put like some details on the side Make sure I'm going in the back door, like this line's heading back, so these lines have to head back. They have to head diagonal. These are horizontal, so I'm gonna keep them horizontal. See what I'm saying? Then I want a jack in the box, so I'm gonna have a little like spring kind of coming out, and maybe I want my jack in the box um, toy to be a little cat. A little cat in the box. There you go. And then if you have the supplies and you want to color it in, you could. So I'm gonna go ahead and just color mine in really quick to give you guys an example. Okay. I think I want my cat to be brown. I'm gonna color my little brown cat. And then boom, I'm done. I would just write my name on it. And then if you need a um, parent or a guardian help, you can get them to take a picture of it and upload it to Teams. I'll also, also accept it through email or Dojo. So whatever is the best way for you to send it to me would be great. And like I said, it can be any of these. You choose your 3D form that you would like to make something out of and submit it to me and you're good. If you have any questions, you know how to contact me, Teams, Dojo, or email.